In today's Legend Tour match, keep your game face on for Caesar, the Emperor Rosado. He's one tough opponent and will require you to use all of your skills. Stay in play. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the team, Caesar Emperor Rosado. Nothing genuinely disastrous here. Ball's lying down in some of the deeper grass, but we can work with it. Uh, it looks like it'll find the rough. Now that's one for the highlight reel. On this relatively short par 5, the tee shot is crucial. Do not be greedy here, as a drive along the left side will get you nothing but trouble. A long and accurate drive will give you the chance to reach this green in two shots. A layup shot to about 60 yards short of the green will find a flat area to approach from. I like the looks of this one. It's just fine. David, I like the way this one looks. That is uh, not the right direction there. The, I think there's a bunker over there. On and two and putting for an eagle. Hard to tell whether this is asparagus, zucchini, but it's definitely some kind of vegetable. This putt's for par. Oh, you'd want a hug from your mummy after that. Nice. 
That's a costly bogey. Polish it off. That will win the hole. A shot requiring a middle to short iron is needed to reach the green on this picturesque par three. The green is two tiered and slopes from back to front. There will probably be more birdies here than on any other par three holes. Do not go over the back or you are toast. On the green, at least. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. This one will end up on the putting surface. Rosado for a birdie. Well done. <laughs> Needs to roll this one in for par. Gets his paw. This one to have the hole. That's a wrap. The fourth at TPC Sawgrass is a par four that requires accuracy on every shot. A well-struck long iron or fairway wood from the tee will enable the player to hit a middle to short iron to the green. The two-tiered green is very undulating, so be wary when it's your turn to putt. to start this hole. Well, it's going left. Not sure just how far left. should be happy with this approach. This should land safely on the green. Should be able to make birdie here. This could be close. This one will have the hole. David, just outside the hole here on the left? Yep, tiny little slicer.
This dogleg right offers a generous landing area for the drive, as it is the longest par 4 on the golf course. Favoring the right side will give you a shorter approach shot. The green is deep, narrow, and rolling. Par is always a good score here. Okay, here. Not a big hit, but he's got it going straight. Coming down on the lawn, I believe. That'll do it. This is going to be short. For a second birdie in a row. This putt will have to hold. The sixth hole is a per... It's not the worst shot I've ever seen. That got away from him a bit. Well, more than a bit, actually. It's in deep rough. Nice swing. This approach looks like it'll catch the grain. So much of golf is mental. And that was mental right there. A birdie will help here. It usually does. Well, it's tough to overcome nasty putting like this. Scrambles to save par. This will have the hole. Go, 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 go. Makes his par.
A tee shot on the left is preferred for a flag on the right, and a drive to the right, not too close to the rough, is desired for a flag located in the rear or left. Too far right, and you can be blocked out on your second shot. The wind direction on this hole can make it very difficult to score well. This is a bueno looking shot. Nice swing, but it looks like the ball's going right. He didn't hit it cleanly. This lie won't hurt him. This does not look good. This looks good, should hold on the front edge of the grain. Should be in good shape here. That's pretty good when you consider where it was. This will twirl a little to the left here. Some pressure here to save par. Nice par on that hole, if you like golf. You may be in front right now. 